Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share a journal with me in my Hobonichi Weeks. This is a new to me planner. I just started using it this year and I have been using it to essentially keep a daily log of what I do so I can use it as an archive for keeping track of memories and also referencing it in the future. Essentially what I've done is I've already drawn a line down here. There are two markers here. Let me zoom in just a tad closer so it's easier to see. And what I like to do is just put any events there or anytime I need to go out, anything like that, I'll put that there. Sometimes I won't have any, in which case I'll just put a sticker or something like that like I did last week. And then here, it's just a bulleted list of what I've done throughout the week. And then on the side here, it's kind of a free for all type of page. Sometimes I'll write song lyrics and just do some collaging. Sometimes I will write down highlights, keep track of mail. Yeah, it's just a place for me to be creative and put down whatever I want. I like to get started with a collage first, just so I can get a feel for the spread and just to get me into that journaling mode. Let's grab some washi. So. This is my most used washi, this one, do the brown grid. All right, let's go with these three. I like to kind of just reference where I've placed the stickers in the past few weeks because I like to place them in different parts every week to get like an even fluff of the pages. So I always like to start by stacking some washi and layering them together. I like the way that that looks and it's just a really quick and simple way to add some vibes to your spread. So I just kind of rip it in different lengths and place it down, nothing too complicated. And then this one I will place down here at the bottom. Okay, then let's choose some stickers from Catherine Sarah Journal. So this is a tin that I just repurposed because these are just so handy. I can look through them and choose which ones I want to use. Ooh, I really like the coffee theme here. I think I might go with these two. So Catherine Sarah Journals is an online Patreon that I'm subscribed to. And she does digitals. Of course, it's online. <laughs> what am I saying? She does digitals, so, and she has different tiers, so you can choose like which tier you're comfortable with, uh, which tier you'd like. It's like weekly. I don't remember all the tiers and what the different offers are, but I'm subscribed to like the highest one or whatever it's called because I just love everything that she comes out with. Like, I'm so happy with this and highly recommend all-time favorite and that was like so simple and I love the way that that turned out. So what I'm going to do is move on to the left hand side now and fill out everything that happened during the week and then I'll come back and fill out this part later. So like I said events down here on the side and last week I really only had one oh actually I had like two events. So the first one was on Monday I had an appointment with the oral surgeon so I'm just gonna get a tooth sticker here. These are from Papery Planning and then I want to layer it on top of something because it's so tiny. I have these half moon things from Bare Necessities. Oh actually they might be too big. Oh no they fit. Oh they're slightly wider but I think I can make it work so I'm gonna use one of these. Put that there. I had an appointment with the oral surgeon because I needed to get sign off from the oral surgeon before I start Invisalign, which I did. So I'm really excited about that. So this is a pen that I'm using. I'm using a fountain pen today. This is the Twisby Eco in the black and rose gold. And I have Diatramentus ink in black inked inside. And I do want to mention like on days where I don't have any events that happened that I want to mark on the left hand side, I'll just put down a pretty sticker or something like that. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna put one of these Mandy Dreams evergreen trees on craft paper. So on Wednesday, I got my new Vanderspeck Janet leather mustard pocket planner, which was really exciting, which is why I used a sticker from Sterling Ink to mark that. And then on Thursday, I had this like social mixer, or I didn't have it. My gym was hosting like a social mixer and we got like free champagne and snacks. So that was quite fun. 
So I'm using a drink sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that. On Friday, I had the day off, which was really exciting. It was basically a wellness day at work. We get a day off, company-wide day off a month. So I slept in, I got Pete's. I got a black tie from Pete's, which was pretty delicious. I hadn't had it in a while and my sister was talking about it and then I really wanted to go get one, so I did. Okay, this sticker, this sheet from Papery Planning is like basically what made me start following her shop. I saw somebody use this in their Hobonichi weeks and just fell in love with all the stickers on there. So I bought two and this, is I think a scarf, but it looks kind of like a blanket. So I think that would be really good to mark that I built a blanket ladder on Sunday. Yeah, the weekend was really chill on Saturday. I just relaxed and watched YouTube most of the day. And then on Sunday I had a recent routine, including building my blanket ladder and then cleaning some makeup brushes and doing laundry. So that's pretty much it for like the weekly log section. Now I'm going to move over to the other side. And here this week, I kind of want to do like a currently list. So currently eating, drinking, watching, I think I only have three that I want to mark down. So I am going to bring out my stamps here. And I typically actually don't stamp in my Hobonichi weeks that often just because I like to make it quick, but I figured it's special since we're filming today. So I'm gonna stamp currently up at the top here. So these are some alphabet stamps. I think you can get them on Amazon. I can't remember if I got them on Amazon or AliExpress, but if you want quicker shipping, I recommend getting them on Amazon. I want to use brown just because it's, I have black, but I feel like it might be a little bit too harsh. I typically like to do like lighter colors when I'm writing on this side here, just so it's not so, I love this ink color. But yeah, if you see, I always use a lighter ink when writing on the side, just so it's not so like bold. This black ink is pretty bold. So this is the Versa Magic chalk ink in Sahara sand. That doesn't look as great as I, wanted it to be. I should have brought the planner closer to me, but lesson learned. I will do that next time. Also a little bit shaky with the small stamps and an awkward angle. I apologize. I kind of want to cover it up and redo it. I found these again from Catherine Sarah Journals and she has like functional sets. I might just do this. Wait, which color goes better? Ooh. Oh, this is perfect, but I don't know if it's long enough. Yeah, it's not. I think I like the lighter one just because this is too close. I think this one would work better. And I'm gonna switch over to a black ink. It stands out more and okay. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stamp here first and then I'll place the sticker down just so that it's a little bit more accurate. Thank you for bearing with me guys. So this is again, the Versa Magic chalk ink. And this is the midnight black version. This one is a little bit more dried out than my other one because I use this one more. So let's see if I can make this work. It is golden hour as I'm filming this. So the sun is going down. So if you see this video, the lighting getting progressively darker, that's the reason. But this is my favorite time of day to film. As you know, it's just one of my favorite times of day in general, but especially to film. I just really love the vibe. I did the L crooked again. It's all a little bit crooked. Oh well. Not gonna do it a third time. Currently, last letter. All right, let's put these stamps away. I'm gonna blot it real quick too, just to make sure it doesn't smear. Oh wait, blotted it on the washi. I just put washi here because there's some branding on there that's in like in not very pretty green and I just wanted to cover it up. I'll have the blotting paper linked as well. I got it on Amazon.
Okay, so for lettering the headers for eating, drinking, and watching, I'm going to use this brush pen that I got from Jet Pens. It's like a tan, or I guess it's called pale brown. And I really like this shade and this lettering pen as well. So I'm gonna do drinking, eating, watching because the eating is the longest. So let me see if I can do this. I'm gonna do a little bit of blotting. I know it's probably gonna smear. Yeah, see that? Blot. Blot one more time. And then I also like to, when I'm writing, just place the blotting paper underneath my hand so that my hand doesn't do any of the smearing. So the pen that I'm gonna use to write is my Sailor Fountain Pen. This is the limited edition, limited edition one called Every Rose Has Its Thorn. And I have the extra fine nib. I have a mixture of two inks inside. One is the De Atramentis Archive Ink in Black, which I used in this one. I mixed it with a little bit of the Ferris Wheel Press Cream of Earl Grey because that ink is super light. So it blended together, makes a light gray sort of shade. And it's even lighter than normal because I haven't used this fountain pen in a while. I think it might be slightly dried out a little bit. I probably have to clean it and refill it, but since I committed, we're just gonna go with it. All right, everybody, that is it for this week's Hobonichi Weeks spread. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I hope you enjoyed that ink is so faint. Yeah, I definitely have to put a darker ink in there. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed let me know what your thoughts are, if you have any questions, if you'd like to see anything else, any other types of videos or requests. I hope you're all taking good care and I will see you in my next video. Bye.